What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a new WWE Elite action figure review, and it is a two-in-one review on the WWE Elite Series 96 Hulk Hogan and Brock Lesnar figures. Now, this is our first time seeing Brock Lesnar in the main Elite line in a little bit, man. It's been a little bit since we've seen him, but he makes his triumphant return. We do have an updated head sculpt on there. A lot of people are excited about that Brock head sculpt. This figure is going to be another take, really, on the Ultimate Edition that we got not too long ago from Series 4 of the Ultimate Edition edition series just recently got a reprint or a re-release and then we do have a brand new Hulk Hogan over here which isn't too brand new but we'll get into all those things man always getting the different looks of Hulk Hogan but we did of course pick these up from ringside collectibles if you would like to grab these you can go over to ringside collectibles use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there but we do have our standard WWE elite packaging right here big WWE logo you have their front viewing windows here both the talents on the front as well as their names spinning it to the side you also have both images of the men there. WWE Elite logo, Series 96. Kind of unbelievable. Slowly but surely getting to Elite 100 that I think, honestly, has lost all of its steam. I'm, I'm looking forward to the figures, but not as much as I was, man, honestly. Here's the bio read for Hogan. If you want to read it, you can pause it now. And here's the bio read for Brock Lesnar. If you'd like to read that, you can pause it now. Has some stats and info, career highlights, names on the side. You guys get the point. Standard WWE Elite packaging. But I think that pretty much wraps it up for our packaging segment, man. So let's crack these guys out. I'll put them on the rotating base and see what these guys are all about. So here's Hulk Hogan and Brock Lesnar out of their packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing so far out of these figures, at least at the time being. I do have one minor gripe, at least at this point in the review, before we even get into the super finite details of every single thing about the figures. But I'm enjoying them so far, man. The, in the inclusion of double-jointed, pinless joints and, you know, the removable heads and just the innovation that we've gotten from these Mattel WWE action figures and even AEW figures in general, just wrestling figures in general over the last couple years has just been insane and it's been a really nice thing and I think any collector that has been modern collecting or collecting in the last couple years especially you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you've been around the Mattel line for, for probably I'd say probably 6 plus years nah I probably I mean maybe even 7 plus I mean even if you've been around since the very beginning you know how big of a jump they have made from the very beginning over that time and it's honestly just it's incredible to think about. But anyways man we're going to dive into Hulk Hogan's accessories and Hulk Hogan then we'll take a closer look at Brock Lesnar's accessories and Brock Lesnar and see what these figures actually are truly about. All right, man, so starting out first with Hulk Hogan's accessories. I don't remember if I said we'd cover his accessories or Hulk Hogan or Brock Lesnar's accessories first, so I'm just going to go with Hulk. So if I mixed up the order, I don't care. So getting into it, man, you get your interchangeable hands. You do get your two different head accessories. I don't know why I didn't like the way I said that, but you got the Hulk Rules bandana. Seen this bandana multiple times. It looks good. It looks clean printed. I don't see any terrible mess ups or anything. The wrinkles are nicely sculpted. Block WWF logo in there without the F, of course. Get the F out. But it looks good, and it fits the figure well, as you saw in the rotating base. So this is good. We also get the helmet accessory now. I am not a Hulk Hogan connoisseur. I know a little bit, but I believe this is called his war bonnet. I don't know. I, I wasn't, you know, I'm not that informed with it, but it's very unique. Did we need it in figure form? I don't know, but you got the nice helmet accessory with the fist on there. Very unique sculpt here. I honestly want to buy multiple of these. I feel like you could make a really funny tag team if you took two of these and like painted them up and then stuck them on a random tag team and called them something weird. Call them like Fight Club or something and they got their fist helmets. I don't know. But you got your visor up there. It says Hulkster on it. Looks good. Nice colors and everything. It's highly detailed to be honest with you, so I, I like it, you know? And if you guys want to see what it looks like on the figure, there it is. And look at that. It fits really well. It's actually really well made. Pretty damn cool, man. I like it. Also, this head sculpt looks fantastic. Good stuff. You also get your license plate accessory here that says Hulkster on it. I don't know the story behind it, but it's definitely unique. You know, it's got the sun on there. It's got the lines. It's got a necklace around it. You can put it around his neck. Again, I don't know the story behind it, and I don't know the whole full details behind this, but it's unique, and I guess, you know, it's just one of those. It's, a, it's another Hulk Hogan. I think, like, the whole basis around this figure release is it gives you a unique look at Hulk Hogan, and then it also gives you some cool accessories, and, like, big-time Hulk fans are going to want this kind of stuff. So, you know, it is what it is but there, there is that. We also get another necklace, which is going to be this cross necklace, which looks good. We've seen this with the Ultimate Edition, but it is a nice sculpt on there. It looks nice. You know, I have two cross necklaces that I wear on the daily, and this looks good. Looks, you yeah, know, fits, fits everything well. Looks good. Looks all well and deed and stuff, and it's, yeah, you get it. Outside of that, you get interchangeable hands. You get the signature fisted hands in the Hulk Hogan tan color. You get the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard hands shaking. Can you hear me? Pump up the crowd style hands. And where would we be without our trusty Mike holding hands? And that wraps up his success. 
accessories. All right, guys, so getting into Hulk Hogan, starting out with the head sculpt, really phenomenal head sculpt. I do believe this is a brand new head. I, I don't think we've seen this one before. We may have seen some like it, but I think this is a brand new head. I think the likeness is uncanny. Looks just like him. The sculpt is nice. The coloration is nice. The eyes are nice. Whether we've seen this before or not, which I don't think we have, it is fantastic. There is some sculpt here on the forehead that's missing the paint, which isn't a huge deal, but something to note right there. It looks like a big old vein in his forehead or something, but really good likeness there. They did go with the DM uh, torso right here, which we've seen on multiple Hulk Hogan figures as well. Double jointed arms, white wrist tape we've seen. Plain yellow trunks. It's basically from the neck down, we have seen it all before, right? White wrist tape, red knee pads, long, large, yellow, and white boots, and then you have your golden trunks from Hulk Hogan. I mean, that is the basis of this figure. The whole selling point has got to be the head sculpt, and it is a, it, I mean, it's a basic, it's basically an elite ultimate edition. You have the really good ab crunch that you love on elites, combined with the double jointedness of the arms. I mean, it's pretty daggum nice, but let's get into some Hulk Hogan figure comparisons. I mean, dude, just look at these comparisons here. You have the Ultimate Edition, the new Elite 96, you have the Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition, and then you have the Survivor Series Elite, which is practically this with a different head sculpt. I mean, these are virtually the exact same figure with different accessories and different heads, and this head's better. You guys get the point, but you throw the Hulk rules on here, and now look, you got four different Hogans. Well, I guess technically you have four different Hogans, but you know what I mean. That on there, and boom, look at that. Jesus, same tan, same everything. I mean, dude, they're gonna keep doing it, too. They're gonna keep reprinting and remaking as long as it's making money. We're gonna keep printing it. But yeah, out of all four of these, I still love the Ultimate Edition, but this is very nice. This is a very good Hulk. I'd probably rank this one second among the four, just because I think this head sculpt's better than the ones they used here. But I don't know. You know, I, I still am not a big fan of this head sculpt. But I like this one, and the Ultimate Edition is just very, very good and classic. Man, that right there is clean as hell, but you guys get the point. That's your Hulk Hogan figure comparisons. So getting into Brock Lesnar's accessories, man, starting out with Brock Lesnar, you do actually get some unique stuff going on here that actually needs to be talked about for sure, but getting into the first accessory, we do have a camera accessory. Now, I don't think we've seen a camera like this, this exact mold, with a figure straight up, right, as an accessory, like a standalone accessory. I know we've gotten it in play sets, I think, and like some other off-the-wall, you know, off-the-wall stuff, but we do have like one of the cameras that the crew uses, and it's actually a soft, pliable material. It's not like hard plastic, as you guys can see. It's got some silver detail on the screen of the eye of the camera right there. So we do have a handheld camera, like a production camera camera, whatever. We also have interchangeable hands. Now, these are really nice. These are the Ultimate Edition fisted hands, which look good. They have Lesnar on them. Very nice mold right here. I think the only time we've seen these before is with the Ultimate Edition, so we're getting a re-release there, which I like. And these hands, I want to say, are newly sculpted. You guys can see there, it's got the gloves, but the thumb is completely out. It's not a sculpted full glove like we've seen in the past, or they didn't give him choke slamming hands. They actually gave him mic holding hands that I don't think we've seen before with Lesnar without the thumb sculpted on there like the gloves. So these are newly sculpted hands as far as I'm concerned. They do have Lesnar on there. They got the pads. The UFC gloves look nice. And last but not least, we have Steel Steps. Now, I don't think we've seen Steel Steps before with a figure either. This is the top part. You guys know you have the bottom part, and then you have the top part. It's just some short, short Steel Steps right here. Nice color there with the flat silver. You got the handles on there. Looks pretty good. It's got the steel grate. It is textured. It looks nice and good. Yeah, I don't think we've gotten Steel Steps with figures either. Like, straight up just, you know, just like aluminum steel stairs like this. Don't think we've seen that, so I say aluminum. You know what I mean. But yeah, that is Brock Lesnar's accessories. I actually like them. You get a couple unique things. You get some new sculpts in there. Good stuff with Brock Lesnar. So getting into Brock Lesnar, man, starting out with the head sculpt, which is basically, I mean, it's it's not the only, but it is one of the main selling points of this. You have the smiling Brock with the long beard and the man bun slash ponytail Brock head sculpt, which looks really good. I love the sculpt here. It's not loose, so they did attach it to the head, which is very important because if they didn't, it would probably snap off. So this is not gonna, you know, you're not gonna have any issues with that, but it's a very nice sculpt. I like the blonde color. Head looks really good. I like it a lot. A lot of people were kind of crapping on it when we first saw the Amazon exclusive one in the jeans at WrestleMania Axis. Looks amazing. I don't know what they're talking about. I, I like it a lot. I think the likeness is there. I can't wait for the Ultimate Edition. Going down to the torso, same Brock Lesnar torso. You do have the new shoulders in here with the pinless big arms in here, which look really, really good, man. Tattoos look really, really good. I love it. Now, I will say my right shoulder has that stiff shoulder deal a little bit, so be careful with that, and it's making it where my biceps loose. I am so sick of that happening, bro. Just ridiculous, but waist feels good. Sword tattoo is in there, even if you do the ab crunch, which is a very nice detail right there. On the back, you got all his tattoos. You got the hand claw, the meat claw tattoos. You got the big skull in there, which also continues, which is another just beautiful bonus. The skull on the trunks. You do have the black trunks with the Brock Lesnar logos. Glove gauntlets on there, of course. As always, same crotch as we've seen before. Got these same lower legs, and then he does have the short boots, which we've seen before, but this figure is fantastic. Like, I love the Ultimate Edition, but this one's still really good, man. It feels fantastic, feels quality. I love it. I'm all for Brock Lesnar. I've always loved Brock.
Brock Lesnar and been a fan of the guy, so this is excellent. Now, as far as figure comparisons, here's your Brock Lesnar figure comparisons. Now, I do believe, now, I know for a fact this is the Ultimate Edition right here, which is practically the same figure as this one. I just love how seamless this one is. I can't wait for the new one. It's going to be insane with the, you know, the, all the added little bonuses, but this one over here, I can't remember if this is the GameStop exclusive. I think it is the GameStop exclusive with a different head sculpt on there because that one was buns, but you can just kind of see just the, the revolution between them. I mean, they're very similar, of course, all across, but they are different slightly. One thing you can do is take the ponytail head and put it on the Ultimate Edition just because, and now look, now you have an Ultimate Edition updated Brock Lesnar just like that. I just love the way, how seamless the Ultimate Edition is. Like, I just love this torso. I know you don't get the ab crunch in there, but I love how it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really look like a figure in the torso because you don't have that big ab crunch in there, which looks fantastic, but you know, you get the added boot articulation and sculpt, and uh, yeah, just a, just a unit. What a unit. They should just rename him the unit, not the beast. He's the unit now. Somebody should use that as a nickname. They should be the unit, you know, Bobby Lashley, or the unit Brock Lesnar. Well, that's a gimmick. There's a gimmick for somebody out there. But anyways, man, I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 Elite Series 96 review on Hulk Hogan and Brock Lesnar. Really like these figures a lot. I hate that my right shoulder, my Brock Lesnar, it, it seems to be stuck like we've seen with multiple figures over the years. It seems like with the new inclusion of the double-jointed arms and the new shoulder joints that we've been getting on these figures, you know, we've seen it with the Elite 94 Steph. We saw it in my Becky Lynch Survivor Series Elite. We've seen it with The Fiend over the years. We saw it with this Brock Lesnar here. It seems like these new figures' shoulders get stuck way too often, and it would probably be my biggest gripe, I think, with Mattel WWE action figures right now. It just happens way too often, and then they get loose, and then your arm's stuck loose, and it's like, why did I buy this figure? You know what I mean? So, that is something that I would definitely like to see improved upon, man. Can't be having that. And that's probably my biggest gripe with the Lesnar. I think outside of that, these figures are awesome. I know it's another Hulk Hogan in yellow and red. I mean, this is like, what, our third or fourth one in the last year or two, which is truly insane, but it's another way to get a stock-looking Hogan into the wave for more people to have a Hulk Hogan and I I'm sure that we're going to continue to get Hulk Hogan in this look. I think this is the way to put him unless you really just want that unique look with the helmet and the and the license plate. But anyways man I really enjoyed the figures. I think they're very quality. I don't think this Hulk Hogan is a necessary like you know just must have figure but you do get a new head sculpt here. It's a very good formula. I like the cross necklace. Things we've seen before but things that are very nice and then the Brock Lesnar is a beautiful updated Brock Lesnar. I say get this one. I know the Ultimate Edition is coming soon. We have the Amazon 3-pack coming soon, so those are also awesome figures, but I would definitely grab this Brock. Grab this Brock, just get it. It's awesome, and it's get the Ultimate Edition. You'll have more head sculpts for it if you guys don't like the ab crunch on the Ultimate Edition, even though I think the Ultimate Brock is one of my favorite Ultimate Editions they make, and I can't wait to get the new one and see how it compares to the old one, but I think they're most I don't think they're both just absolutely 100% must-haves, but they're pretty daggum good, you know what I mean? Anyways, man, before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out's gonna go to Phoenix Feather, who says, I don't know if you saw it or not, but in this week's Being the Elite, they say that Unmatched 9 Brit will be an LJN figure. Cutler will come with spray can, face mask, and camera. Also, the bucks in that series will be from All Out 2021 from the Unmatched Series 9. And I did not see that. I, I definitely missed that. Which means, I'm pretty sure All Out 2021 is the cage match with the Lucha Bros and the Young Bucks in their red gear. So yeah, those will be really awesome figures. Hopefully, we get some good accessories and good details details on those figures but anyways man huge shout out to phoenix feather for the comment i did not know about that so i do appreciate it but anyways man i'm getting out of here thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts down below on these figures are you guys picking these up what is the case down below i'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed day and i'll see you next time you cross